Hello there, I hope all of you are doing well. As per the title, today I'm going to do some empties review. If you guys don't mind, let's get straight to the video. So I have like a months of collection over here for my empties, if you guys can see that. Um, so I try to be a little bit quick uh, because I think uh, some of the item that I've been using I can actually give you guys a very quick review whether it's a yes or a no or somewhere in between um, so yeah and uh, I also have a playlist I really enjoy doing a review for empties because you can actually have like a very good um, opinion uh, with the product that you have completely finished um, so I have a playlist if you guys do enjoy like empties review videos then I will also uh, like put the playlist somewhere around here or at the end of the video maybe you guys can click that playlist and watch the other reviews that I have done for empties and uh, without further delay let's go to the item number one so I'm going to be very random over here. The first item that I uh, want to talk about is uh, from Betis. This is the Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo in Floral and Flirty Blush. Uh, so I love the uh, another one that is like a purple uh, bottle, uh, which is also very like volumizing. Uh, but I can't find it. Even I think one or two weeks ago, I went and tried to find this dry shampoo. It was still not there so I don't know whether Betty's already stopped making these products or what I'm not so sure but this particular one I chose because I can't find the other one the purple one um, and um, I would say it is not as intense as uh, uh, as what I want because I don't use dry shampoo on a daily basis uh, but I use the dry shampoo because uh, I have like back-to-back content creation or sometimes I just need to rush out and uh, I mean the scalp is already like very um, uh, sweaty and oily so uh, it's like a very quick fix which I don't uh, like do all the time uh, so when I want it I really want it to show its best uh, so this particular one is not the the intensity it doesn't has the intensity that I look for but nevertheless it's not a bad product um, maybe for a day-to-day -day kind of uh, like you don't want that much of volume or um, you don't need to that much of cleanliness you just want to you know a little bit of refresh then this is okay uh, but I really want that purple one if you guys uh, saw me reviewing about this uh, purple one and you own one of it if you find it anywhere let me know in the comment down below because I literally can't find it anywhere next is from uh, Watson I love my skin a lavender lavender and jojoba calming gel body scrub uh, this is the one honestly guys this product is um, didn't meet my expectation it doesn't feel like a um, scrub and uh, it they does have I'm going to take this nose ring oh. So it does has like a like a beads inside it. Usually in scrub you will have that, but it's very mild. It's almost feel like a body shower gel rather than uh, rather than a scrubbing one. Um, so uh, I mean the lavender smell also was not um, was not. Uh, I ca I can't really I really need to sniff very hard to really feel the uh, scent. Uh, Otherwise, um, I, I don't think this is a great product. It was very affordable, um, but it's, it doesn't feel like a scrubbing. I don't feel like I've scrubbed. Next is from Ilianto. This is the perfumed Gardenia Garden Shower Gel. This, on the other side, uh, was a little bit too much. Uh, I mean, of course, this is not a scrub. This is a shower gel. I don't like a shower gel that is like this highly fragrant. If you guys mean like I want the scent I want the smell uh, but I don't want it too much I mean the best that I love is the soap Chandrika soap that has like a scent that is not too much not too less it's just nice so this scent was a little bit too much a little bit um, like I don't need that high scent but I think this is uh, not a permanent product I think I bought this for Christmas last year I think this is like a limited edition. Next is from Biore. 
um, so I have no idea what this product is exactly called because except for the word Biore and also open everything is written in I don't know Korean or Chinese or I'm not so sure uh, I think Japanese yeah made in Japan so I, 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 I don't know it comes in its own um, container which I will save to put any um, um, wipes into it because it really contains their uh, moist um, so I'm not going to get rid of the container obviously but I want to let you guys know it this makeup remover um, definitely does the job uh, the sheet is a little bit smaller for my liking so I need to use a couple of sheet to remove all my makeups uh, but it does work uh, at one point it does feel a little bit harsh on my skin I'm looking at my son he woke up ready <laughs> it does look a little I mean it does feel a little bit harsh like when you like want to get rid of the makeup uh, when you start to pull a little bit it does feel a little bit tingly um, so I still love my simple which I also have here I've mentioned this so many times I'm not going to say anything about this but it's definitely this definitely the first one ever I'm not going to I think it's very hard to get a replacement for this so this is a good product but it does feel a little bit of tingly good morning good morning so what's next mama you want to keep mama <laughs> so now the little tea all good bad Okay. Yeah, nothing inside. <laughs> I'm back. Um, so, okay, so that was the wipes. So this is the one, and then next is from a Good Virtue Co. The Radiant and Renewing Extra Moisturizing Hand and Body Lotion. Uh, so this is the one. I I really enjoyed this one. It was nothing magical or. Um, completely interesting blew my mind off no it was a um, good product um, if I have no option if I don't have other things that I don't I want to buy or whichever that I want to buy I can't get them if I saw this on the rack I will definitely get it so keeping with the same brand uh, this is the sensible and serene from refresh feminine hygiene wash um, so it was also good um, so I I think this is like a tea tree oil and cranberry extract. I think I got another one. Um, yeah, so since I'm getting another one, I got myself another one. I think this is a good product. Next is from the Inky List. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser. So it's a little bit difficult to get my favorite one from the Inky List, the Oat Cleansing Balm. I even reached to the Inky List team and they said that's like their number one product. So it's like... Uh, selling like it sells like hot kicks so it's a little bit difficult to get them but they're working really hard so I've attempted three times to three times to buy from Sephora they even increased their price from their original price and I still feel like it's still affordable um, so I tried three times and it's like always out of stock so I thought I really need to get a cleanser so I, I tried the same brand and this is the acid cleanser hydronic acid cleanser um, so I really had a very good outcome from this um, product uh, it did clear my skin it almost um, almost like the same effect like the old cleansing balm <clears throat> but the cleansing balm has like a thicker consistency so it does work as a mask as well so it's like you get a lot of benefit in one product and the top is also quite big uh, this is solely like a cleanser and it did a good job I actually would purchase another bottle of this if I can get hold of the wood cleansing one. next is from L'Occitane this is their uh, Immortal uh, Reset uh, Serum um, I would say um, I do have a few L'Occitane products over here I would say L'Occitane is not a product for my skin type uh, problematic and um, you know there's a lot of things going on I think it's not created for problematic skins sensitive skins it's more like uh, you already have a good skin uh, but you want some 
some life to it you don't want it to be too dry uh, you want it to be always glowing i think this product is made for people with that kind of a skin uh, I, I i know a lot of people who have that kind of a skin where they feel like they just need a little bit of oomph nothing much i think this product is created for people like that uh, because none of the product worked for me they did not clear my skin uh, I didn't feel the hydration, I didn't feel like any changes, everything was the same. In fact, at some point it also got a little bit worse because it was not doing anything. Um, so I would not recommend L'Occitane products to anyone who has like a problematic and sensitive skin like I have, especially for oily combo, oily uh, combination skin, um, I don't really recommend L'Occitane product so beautiful to look at and extremely expensive it's not worth it L'Occitane I also have their uh, like the oil immortal oil and also their um, moisturizer cream um, safe to say they did not work for me and um, they do smell so nice you feel really like um, refreshing in the morning when you apply them uh, but at the end of the day if it's not going to show any result it doesn't matter how beautiful the packaging looks it doesn't matter how beautifully it smells and how convenient it is packed for you to use um, it doesn't matter if it's not showing any kind of result so L'Occitane products it's a complete no for me and then I have one fragrance here from Moschino uh, you guys know some of you are already following me for some time you know you guys know that I have a love for this product uh, this brand and uh, this teddy bear scent it's like a um, citrusy lime kind of scent which I love they are obviously expensive uh, um, I would love to get another one uh, especially when there's a Christmas sale and there's a huge sale kind of a thing but not for the original price but I do really enjoy the smell uh, so much until my husband started to use them and then I have a couple of sheet masks uh, this is from the brand called uh, yeah, this is SNP this is actually a PR uh, gift from this brand SNP and uh, I you uh, there was a couple of sheets that they sent so this is the supercharged mask uh, no this is the mud mask this is the coconut water um, this is the collagen and this is the aloe vera uh, to be honest all of them felt almost the same uh, but they did very good job in hydrating my face i can really feel the differences uh, before and after the mask and um, the best thing about this product is the mask itself it's a hundred percent cellulose sheet which means it's going to be very much biodegradable friendly and um, yeah i i really enjoyed all of their mask uh, I wouldn't say, I, I won't say like, oh, this aloe felt a little bit different, the collagen was a little bit different. No, I, I, I think all of them felt very similar to each other. The next sheet mask is from Garnier. This is the Bright Complete Clear Up Anti Acne Mask. And the other one is Bright Complete Brightening Hydration. Um, it's safe to say Garnier has the best mask available in the market, I would say affordable and um, they really work uh, they don't they I can really sometimes feel the um, the scarring no not the scarring the acne mark is like slightly reduces and um, and yeah the brightness that this mask gives you it's like out of the world and none of the high-end masks that I've used before can ever beat this product especially for the price so if you are looking for a very good um, mask um, and uh, you also want it to be affordable uh, I think Garnier's as Garnier masks are the best then next is this um, <clears throat> sample size uh, Suwaso. Suwaso I don't know how to spell their I will pronounce their name this is their essential comfort moisturizing cream I like to now and then go to these uh, high-end products if they have any sample I like to uh, get the sample using my points or sometimes even purchase them uh, because I want to see whether these high-end products they do something or not because they are expensive 
they are so expensive that uh, I really need a justification to buy them in full tub. Uh, so I try to get their sample. Of course, the sample can't really tell you the real story because you might wear this like maximum like eight times and within the eight times some product they really can't show their potential but come on to to spend like 500 ringgit for a like 100 ml and uh, which will last for three months or maybe less than that i think i really need a good um, justification to do that and uh, this um, moisturizing cream i would say it's uh, it's not like really blew my mind off and uh, yeah let's just keep it there next is from Tatcha again it's a sample product I even kept it in its own uh, box because it's so beautiful to look at and this is the product looks like this is like of course their sample size this is the water cream uh, this product on the other hand I did see a difference guys although this quantity was even less than the Sulawoso still don't know whether i pronounce it properly or not but this one i really can see the difference i know it's like super duper expensive it's in my wish list um but let's see whether i will get it or not but it did work uh so i'm looking forward if i get it it will really show its potential next is from um pharmacy this is their honey halo uh hy ultra hydrating uh ceramide moisturizer uh, also in the sample size uh, did not do much and uh, yeah. next is from banana boat this is the dry balance um, sunscreen lotion with the uh, SPF 50 plus um, I think most of the Malaysians own this product they will have this um, yeah I will continue to buy banana products uh, banana boat products um, they work and then I have another like very expensive product, the sample one. This is the Lame, the treatment lotion. Uh, so this is like, this full size is thousand ringgit guys. Thousand ringgit. So this is how the product looks like. The big bottle also looks like this. And uh, yeah, I think this product needs more time than just like 5 ml like this to really show but I think I would never spend thousand ringgit for a lotion no no the last bits are the makeup one which very um, not so often you guys will see in my channel that I'm finishing it off um, but if I show them over here it is definitely something to do with pencils yeah I um, think I don't really finish my lip product or my eyeshadow palette I just declutter them because they are like so long in my collection but the one that I completely will always um, finish off are the my pencils and liners so the first one is from the Intuit the perfect brow eyebrow liner I really love this this is in brown uh, yes this is in uh, 02 brown I really love this uh, brow product guys so if you want something that is like um, like um, very easy to apply and also not so creamy until you can't control it I think this product uh, with the price range and everything it's one of the best eyebrow product I have ever purchased this is another one is from the benefit goof proof brow pencil um, it's a good product but for the price I think better get the Intuit, it's way more cheaper and works uh, equivalent or even better than the Benefit product. Uh, the next is from Palladio, this is the felt tip eyeliner pen, it really did a good job. The only problem is it dries off a little bit quicker than the other brand that I love, um, So, but it's it's a good product, I would say, affordable. Uh, next is from Rimmel. This is the Brow This Way Eyebrow Pencil. Um, I think this is in number uh, in number three, dark brown. This is a little bit intense, and you can go out of control if you don't really apply it. Uh, if you apply with a light pressure, uh, it's going to give you a good look. But if you apply it with a um, like a higher pressure, then you will look like your 
your brow will look very dark very quickly um, so you need to play around with this product uh, I did I do love this sometimes for certain look I do prefer a darker lip uh, darker uh, brow and I think I use this whenever I need to create that kind of a look um, but it's not a very safe product if you don't know how to control it and then the last one is uh, from Maybelline this is the line tattoo uh, crayon pen um, I love this you have might have seen this product I've used in multiple uh, tutorial that I've done previously I love this it's like totally completely can't even see the you know sometimes you see the product is like a little bit flat you can't turn it off I can't even see that it's like so deep inside nothing is like coming out um, so I love this um, if I'm not a content creator that I don't need to have to try new products all the time I would definitely go and repurchase this and guys with that that is the end of the video I hope you guys got some ideas on all the products that I have uh, mentioned here and uh, if any of the products it's your ride or die kind of a product you love the product so much and I did not it's completely um, personal thing if you love it you continue to use it uh, it's your thing it didn't work for me for my preference it didn't fit the shoe and that's about it so it doesn't mean that I'm saying about it so you can't use it or you feel uh, not happy about it it's just my own personal opinion and let's just leave it there and uh, i hope you guys will have a nice and wonderful day ahead a week a month a year and i will see you guys very soon over my next video till then bye bye